Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with April the 2nd um, sketch from Lisa Sikorsky at Scrap a Sketch. And here is today's sketch and we are still in spring. So this month of April, Lisa is doing a four seasons in one month. And yesterday I posted my first um, sketch, which is this one, and did the process video uh, for this. And so today I have this sketch from Lisa and this lovely picture of my grandmother's. So it's got like a wide border, um, some layered bits in the middle and a tag. And then just some this and that little things and the good thing about her sketches are you can really over embellish or just keep them this simple and they're fantastic so that is my sketch I decided to use this uptown flare by the paper studio it has glitter on most of the papers I did pick out one that I felt would be a good base page that's not glittery so that the other pieces could do all the shiny poppy business. Um, but I did want to add a little um, of this green glitter glue. And this is the kind, it's from like the dollar store. So it's not like stickles that are very like super thick. This is mostly just going to leave like glitter in the pattern that I put down. So I may go crazy and add some other colors like, um, because this is the stencil I'm going to use. Oh, how about, I can't see. Well, that's not going to help any now, is it? It's a white stencil. <laughs> you can't see it on there. So let's just open this up and see if I can find a darker piece of paper. They're all, it's floral. And this is from the Obed Marshall Buenos Dias collection, which is what I used there. Well, that doesn't help any either. Wow, you all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I thought that I would use this in different places. Um, I may be brave and put the green through where the leafy bits are and do some colors in the other ones. That might be crazy. Who knows? We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, and then I pulled out a montage or a plethora of different um, brands. So I'm thinking about using this Art History, which is a Stickabilities by Paper Studios. Um, uh, there's not a whole lot left on this sticker sheet, so I am good to use that up. Now this Recollections, um, and I'm pretty sure that I want this best world's best grandparents to be uh, the title, but I haven't decided because I haven't looked to see what this is going to look like on this collection. I have these Crafter Square, um, they're like enamel dots, they're just little puffy stickers. Um, and I have little and bigger one, and these colors are really good for this collection, at least the pinks and greens for sure. I have this Crafter Square that's got some things that I consider depending on which paper I choose. And um, like I said, my Buenos Dias collection stencil that you can't see because I keep putting it on things that are too light. <laughs> uh, you all, you all. Anyway, so um, I guess I am going to get started and use um, some of these things up. I definitely would love to get some more papers out of here. I use this collection or paper pad really is all I have. Um, I use this paper pad pretty much um, any time that I document this lovely lady right here. This is my grandma. We just lost her two years ago and she loves her flowers and pink and shiny things. So anytime I scrapbook her, I almost always use this um, Uptown Flare from Paper Studio. So I've got my stash and my great picture. I have this awesome sketch by Lisa Sikorsky. So uh, let's see how this goes.
So the first thing I did was go through the paper pad. I needed a base page and I needed a, um, a page where the actual layout part is going to be. So I wanted something um, pink, obviously. And um, I wanted, I debated between this um, like dotted line being the background and the pink being the front so that the floral would come out better, but changed my mind. And I'm leaving this part in because I just want everyone to know that it's okay to just start over. <laughs> so I decided I was going to go crazy and do green in the leafy bits and then do different colors in the florals. That did not work. At least, well, okay, let me rephrase. It did work, and you'll see the final outcome of this, but it was a little too crazy for what I was working with here. And some things aren't defined, and you're not going to see it really well, but you're going to see parts of it. I used like four different colors plus the green, and it that some of the colors just did not work well. Um, it came out okay, and like I said, I can totally use it again in something else, but... It was just a little bit too much for what I was looking for. So, um, you can see it a little bit there. And I debated putting that back down and re-stenciling. And I changed my mind. So, then I took the pink paper that it was going to be my very back page. And decided that it would be my um, middle paper. Which is 10.5 by 10.5. So, I cut it down. Which is probably what I'm doing right now. I don't know why I cut, didn't cut that out. And then I lay a paper towel down and I put this paper um, down to where it's going to cover and then just put that stencil down in the corner and then just put a bunch of green in there and cover the entire thing in that bottom corner in green. And this works out much better. I do go in after the green is covered and add, um, there's a couple little dots um, around the florals and I put little blue um, stickles in that and I like the way that turned out and I do go back in later and add a few gold ones too so this turns out much better and I am much happier and so I'm going to show you the up close of what that looks like um, like I said it's okay to if you don't like something to just start over and do it again and like I said, I can totally use that, um, what I already created. I slowed it down a little so you could see it. Now when it dries, it, it's mostly dry by now. It's not as glossy, it's more just shiny. So I am much happier with that. So then it's time to create the layers. And in the sketch, there are three layers plus a photo mat. And then, of course, the back page and the full 12 by 12. And so I'm picking, um, f I think, four different patterns. And I want them to work well together. And, of course, they're from the same collection, so they're going to. Um, but I don't want it to be too drastic. And I don't want it to be too similar either. So um, these are the colors that I decided to go with. This green polka dot, which is shiny and the floral and originally I had it the other way around but um, that floral and then the tag floral don't work well together because the tag is a dark background paper as well as that very back paper so her sketch has um, these in a different direction just a little bit and I just worked with what I had since I wanted to uh, make sure that that um, daisy paper was my tag and I use my dress my craft tag creator to make the top part of that so then I um start building my mats and I did act, act okay I did add <laughs> an extra level or layer I mat my picture on this uh, white paper that has the little hash marks on it and then I put it down on that green polka dot. And I am using um, my tape runner as well as my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. Because a lot of this paper has glitter on it. And it, you know, you just always want to be extra careful with that. So I did not add any glue to this tag because that white 
dotted paper does not have any texture and it's not touching any of the other papers that do. So I am good with that, just having the tape. So I'm trying to get this lined up to where it's even and it's going to show a little bit on the top, bottom, and side. But I want the picture to show a little of that floral on the right side. In the sketch, there's a little bit more showing, but I'm okay with how much there is because I have that added floral at the bottom corner that's not in the sketch. That's my way of going rogue, you all. So there's also just one circle cut out in the sketch or on the sketch, and I decided to add a few more because I really wanted this little heart paper that I'm putting down now. But because it's going over that white uh, dotted paper, I tuck a couple of these pink circles underneath there so that it breaks up that white on white. And then I add this little circular bit up here, and that's just going to help add a little color when I bring the title in. So now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not going to make you watch me attach this, but I do attach this paper with double-sided tape as well as Nouveau Deluxe. So I pull out my embellishments and I make sure that this um, tag A looks good color-wise and B is going to fit. And I move it a little because I don't really want it on the banner much because it's clear and that banner so dark. So it says world's best grandparents and they really, really were. I um, was very blessed. So then I pulled a heart with green and pink off of it and it matches that um, world's best grandparents. So I thought that would be perfect. And I want to bring in a little purple because that word grandparents is purple and I don't have purple in this collection. So I went ahead and brought this um, crafter square arrow in that's got a gold heart and two purple hearts well then I need to bring some gold in so I put some stickles in three different places down in the floral cluster like I did with the blue and I know that there's no blue anywhere else but in those three dots and I kind of did that on purpose my grandma uh, my granny has a blue sweater on and I just kind of added that little differential there um, because of her sweater and I really just like the pop of that different color. So, and I fly by the seat of my pants, guys. That's just the way I do things. So I did go ahead and add some gold stickle dots to the top by the title. And um, then I also add these little creative, no, um, crafter square um they're like enamel dots, but they're really just like a little puffy circle. So I put three clusters of three around the making the triangle effect. And then I also cover the tag hole in my big long tag with a green one. And then I get my Tim Holtz metallics and I put down two things. One that says the ordinary is often the extraordinary, which is totally correct. Uh, both my grandmothers were very extraordinary and there was nothing, you know, outwardly um, extraordinary about them to other people, but they were certainly extraordinary. And then the other one says heart and soul because they were definitely the heart and soul of our family. And then I'm looking at this, trying to figure out if I need anything else. And in the sketch, there are three little um, strips of paper up at the top right corner. So I want to use the same patterns I already have on the layout so it's not any crazier than it is or bolder. And I pull that black daisy and the floral pattern in the background, as well as that green and uh, light green polka dot. So everything on here except the back page and that pink page are all from scraps. So that makes me happy because if you've watched any of my videos since 2022 began, that is my goal for this year to use at least one scrap, if not more. I have even done some layouts that are 100% scrap and that makes me super happy. I love getting things like that used up. So um, if you all are interested, you should go on Facebook and join the Scrap a Sketch group. And every Friday, and just throughout the year, every Friday, Lisa posts a new sketch. And they are always so fun and unique. And, um, and she's had some different things in December. We had um, some... Uh, get a uh, sketch every day and so now we're doing this one in April so hope you all come back tomorrow Sunday 
April the 3rd. And now I'm going to show you some close-ups. So this has been fun, a little frustrating because I couldn't get, I messed up the uh, stickles, but that's okay because it ended up turning out, in my opinion, very cute and I like it. So um, I hope that you all will come back again and I hope that you all get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping!